Hello and welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play episode 7. In this episode we are going to be doing a one tick bamboo farm uh, by Ilmango and also a furnace, a super fast furnace which that is also by Iskel but I have tweaked the design just slightly the way that I like it. So let's have a look at this one. I'm obviously in my creative world. So if we come down and flick the lever, we'll see it working. Lovely. And here it comes out. It comes out very fast, which is obviously very handy. And this is just what I want. This is the first time I've done a major redstone design like this, so hopefully it all goes to plan but we never know. So one other thing I need to think about is all the resources. I need to gather up all of the observers, the note blocks and all of that lot. Um, once I've gathered all that lot I will come back. Hello and welcome back. So. I have been gathering all the resources I need to build our one tick bamboo farm and our fast smelter. I think what I need to do before I start is jump over into my testing world. Just quickly do that and remind ourselves how tall this is going to be. Ah, here it is. So this is the full thing with the furnace added on Let's see this here so the way I've arranged this I could probably do this exactly the same way here as I have I don't know what you're doing there, okay. So be the case of just starting from ground level I think for this. Yeah. Okay, let's jump back into it then. So next to our sheep farm, which looks like it might need some more shears put inside. And I've also made a cactus, little mini cactus farm. Needed the green dye. This is where we're going to put it. So we're going to want the big bit way back here, I think, aren't we? So I think I'm going to quickly clear out this last bit here and then we will get building. So I will be back. Okay, so I've cleared out a huge space here and I've marked out a few little measurements here this is where the bamboo farm's going to be going and the furnace is down here so i think we've got everything we need to start this at least so this is well we'll go over here <coughs> and let's see so we're doing it along this line here i'm doing it I do it at this height. It gives me a little bit of height to mess around with a flooring later on when we come to putting a roof around it and everything. So that was that one. Do three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's about right, yeah. That's 11 there. We'll stick that there so we can get up. Now, no more. The rails. And one there. And I want an observer facing that way. So it's got to face into this last rail. Oh, I was forget which way these go. Yay, I got it right. Okay, so that's one. 
Okay. same as the other side, we're going to stick them all down here, apart from that one, and an observer facing into that one, there you are, facing down, so like that, one, two, like that, yes, bit of hardcore there for me, and again, one, two, and there, so they all got a face on, facing the rails, One there, one, two, one there, two, one there, and one at the end, like that. Right. Now I definitely need my sticky pistons. Ah, there you are. And grab that as well. And we were going, yeah, we got that. This was a lot easier to do in creative than it is in uh, survival. So one there, one up there, one up. Oh no, not one there. Okay, let's take that one. One there, and yes, one like that. Much better. Server facing this way, I think. Yep. Like that. Stone's probably not the best to use as a scaffolding block, but it works. Probably doing this completely backwards from the way you're supposed to, but I'm just going off what I've done so far. So I need my sticky pistons again. I need to put sticky pistons facing this way. up there? Oh, no. It's terrible. Okay, we're taking all this scaffolding down. It's getting in the way. Carry on putting up all of these now. 
All right, we need the scaffolding blocks. Let's use let's use the cobblestone. Right, I wanna go here. Start sticking these up. Okay. Think it needs to be there. I think. I might be a bit wrong about that end one. I'm not 100% sure. If I am, I'll have a quick check in a minute. Okay. Right, that one needs to go bye bye. So that, 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 that. And one there. Let's have a double check on my other one. Yeah, no, I was right. That is fine. Okay. Now I need to do it all along this side. So I have one there, 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 there. Oh no, 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 no. There, 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 and there. There we go. I do need that sticky piston back. Got it. So uh, do I have enough dirt or do I have to get more? If anything I'm going to have to get a bit more. So we need dirt to go all the way along here. And all the way along here. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need a little bit more dirt. It does have to be a double row. Scaffolding down. You don't need these blocks, or these, or any of these. Okay, other than the dirt, that's that bit new enough done up there. I think we need to do this section here, so let's have a quick look. Okay, I need my note blocks, that's what I need. Let's see. Note blocks. definitely missing I'm missing the slime box locks so I'm not going to be able to complete this one yet until I've got those but I'll go off camera and kill a few slimes somewhere okay so I need one note block there And then one there, 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 and there. And in between, behind the observer, has got to be like a stone. Or your block of choice, I guess. In my case, it's that stone. Like that. Yep. Alright, where's my sticky pistons? I need one sticky piston on top of that. And this is where the slime blocks will go. They'll be linked up to this one here. And now I need three observers at the back here. Make sure I'm putting them the right way. So that one's facing in, that one's facing out, that one's facing out. Okay. So, let's see. Nope. Oh, I 
can be very bad at this game sometimes. Sure. So that I'm facing that way. Have to remove these for a minute. And then you need two facing that way. And then I can stick that back. That's it. Nearly. Do, do, do. Yep, that's fine. Before I carry on with the rest, I think I'm going to find my slimes, get myself some slime blocks, and then we'll be back to do this. Okay, so I have gathered up the slime blocks that I need to complete this. I think I have everything I need now, so what I'm going to do is quickly finish off this bit, and I will meet you when i finished it. Don't forget, if you're liking this, to like and subscribe down below. that one there. So we could pop that up like that and it up like that. One two like that. Very good. Now when they fly off, they're going to be flying here, and this is where the water source will go. So obviously we want to stop the water from being able to get into any of this redstone. So let's bring that out like that. And bring that up another one like that. I'm also going to bring the water out, down and round on both sides on my one so that I can go straight towards the furnaces down there. Okay, I think that is all I've got time for today. In the next episode we will build the furnace and hopefully we'll have this all up and running. If you like what I'm doing so far, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below. See you next time. Bye.